Hey, Game Makers! So, are you like me and started a game project for VX Ace like a week before MV was announced? And then continued working on your project thinking, well, it'll probably take a while before it comes out, I can finish my game by then! And then MV suddenly just appears and you're all like, well darn, what the heck do I do now? Fear not! As the very smart people who actually know how to code have thought of everything! Today, we are going to convert a VX Ace game to be playable in RPG Maker MV. This means converting maps, data, and annoyingly rescaling all of our old VX graphics. Yay! First thing you'll need is this wonderful, wonderful VXA script. If you bought the pre-order, you can find it wherever you have the RPG Maker web plugins under Shaz. And if not, I will post a link in the description to where you can download it from. Open the script and copy it. Go to your VXA game and paste it in a blank space above main. Feel free to name it whatever you want. Now play your game. Now close your game! Doing this will activate the script which will convert all your data into MV file types. Go to Game and click Open Game Folder. You'll see a new folder, MV Data. Inside that, you'll find our new files, as well as an underscore scripts file that will list extra data, such as your skill details and any other locations where you use script calls, as your scripts can be easily converted to the new system and will likely have to be modified. However, many of the common VXA scripts are already being remade for MV, so make sure you look for those online! Now, copy the new data files, and let's head over to MV and create a new game. Do not use an existing one or you will eliminate it! Now head up to Game at the top and click Open Folder. You'll want to paste those data files into the data folder, replacing the existing ones. Next, the super unfun part! If you want to make your old game work correctly in MV, you'll also need your old music and graphics too. You'll want to go to where your RPG Maker VX Ace RTP is located. Common Files, Enter Brain, RGSS3, RPG Maker VX Ace. Easy part! Copy the audio folder, replace the new MV Games audio folder with it. Additionally, do the same for any audio you had in your original VX Ace game folder as well. Unfun part! Now we have to copy the graphics and they're all the wrong sizes. I have a tutorial here on how to upscale your tile sets, and the steps apply for most of the other graphics as well. In most cases, just make the graphics 50% bigger. Do this for the RTP and any custom graphics you have in your VX Ace game folder. Specifically, you want to do this for any battle backs, characters, faces, tile sets, and titles 1 and 2, and any other custom things you might have. For the sake of this example, I've already gone through and made MV usable versions with things I need. And I'd very much advise that if you do not wish to accidentally screw up your VX Ace RTP, make a backup of all of your graphics! Now with everything resized, just copy each set of graphics to its correct folder in our MV game and overwrite the existing files. This will make sure the correct VX graphics show in our MV game, as a lot of VX's and MV's graphics are named the same. If you wish to re-add any of the MV graphics, I suggest re-adding them under a different name after you've got your game working. With everything hopefully correctly added in, go to your MV version. Close it and do not save. Saving will overwrite the new data. Reopen your game, and your old maps, game data, events, and graphics should appear. It's a little confusing, so if you have any questions or tutorial requests, feel free to ask me in the comments. Until next time, gamers, see you later!